Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do charter schools take money from public schools? Charter schools and public schools are often seen as rivals on the education playground. Let's dive into their financial relationship. Both are funded by taxpayer dollars, but the way they play with money is different. Charter schools are public schools, but they operate with more independence. They're like the cool cousin with a bit more freedom. Public schools, on the other hand, follow stricter district guidelines. Now, when a student enrolls in a charter school, the funding typically follows. Imagine money as a backpack. When the student moves, the backpack goes too. This means that money allotted for public education can end up in charter schools. It's like a game of financial musical chairs. Public school funds are allocated based on student enrollment. More students, more money. So when a student leaves a public school for a charter, funds may leave too. It's a bit like when someone takes a piece of the pie, leaving less for others. Charter schools argue they're just getting their fair slice of the education funding pie. Public schools worry their slice is getting smaller. It's a hot topic with strong opinions on both sides. Do charter schools directly take money from public schools? Not like a pickpocket, but the financial flow can shift. It's a nuanced dance of dollars and cents. The debate continues as communities strive for the best education for every student. It's not a simple yes or no answer, but an intricate financial tango. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.